Hey, what's up guys? My name is Moda and welcome back to the Mining Stacker YouTube channel. Today's video, just a quick update on some big news we've been waiting for. For the six of you who are still into Helium, we did get a price point for that Helium Mobile, right? We did get confirmation of where it's rolling out, some information on it, and it's pretty big news, right? So we're going to cover that. Um, so if that sounds good, guys, stay tuned, all right? So let's get to it. So... Big, big news, kind of leaked yesterday, right? If any of you guys are subscribed to their newsletter, they sent out an email that was incomplete except for the headline, right? Saying that it was gonna be five bucks. Today, I think that's why they expedited this. It did get officially announced. It's gonna be $5 a month, right? Which is pretty crazy. They have been kind of hinting towards it. I was kind of guessing maybe it was just gonna be like a small data plan, something of that sort, but no, it is freaking $5 a month. And it's not just data, it's voice text data for freaking $5 a month, which is backhauled by T-Mobile. So it's a T-Mobile plan essentially for $5 a month, which is crazy big news, right? So let's talk about, I mean, there's not much to talk about, right? It's just, it's a super cheap plan. It's going to increase adoption. And again, that's a big narrative I've been saying for this bull market is just adoption, adoption, adoption. Getting normies, getting people who aren't into crypto, into crypto because they're into that setup, right? So like in this case, people are going to sign up for it just based off the price. They don't care that Helium is like a deep in, like a decentralized physical infrastructure network. They don't care about that. They care about a $5 essentially T-Mobile plan for crazy cheap, right? They're going to use it. They're going to sign up. They're going to realize like, oh, Man, it's just like my T-Mobile plan, but 90% of the cost. It's crazy, right? And then another big thing, right? They sign up, they look into it more. They sign up for the mobile mapper thing. They set up their little wallet. They start earning these mobile tokens and they get introduced to crypto without even knowing, right? They're like, oh, I'm earning mobile tokens. What is this? What does this mean? They learn into it. They look into it. They add some Solana to their wallet. Now they're able to sell that mobile token. They're realizing that they actually are getting paid to give that information, that data up. And that's how it starts, right? That's how we get adoption. We get more people into it by them not even knowing it, right? And again, that's a huge narrative. There's things we talked about in the last cycle, but it's coming to fruition. Yet another example of this, right? Pretty crazy, right? So let's talk about the limitations though. So it's still gonna roll out slowly. Right. So for those of you in the beta, you're in right at the five dollars a month. And it's currently going to roll out. The first rollout is going to be Miami. So if you are in Miami, it's going to be certain zip codes. You're going to go in there. You're going to punch in that zip code. It's going to tell you if you qualify and you'll be able to sign up as of now, I believe. Right. So pretty crazy. It's going to slowly roll out. We'll see how the time frame is but expect it to be metro areas first, right? So if you're living in the boonies in a small town, it's probably gonna be a while, right? But if you're in a bigger location, right? We go on and explore for the 5G radios, you can kind of pretty guess where the next ones are gonna be, right? So look for the blue, this is uh, set up for the mobile hotspot. So you're gonna guess New York, LA, Denver, Chicago, Dallas, Austin, Houston, hopefully Tampa area, right? Um, but I'm already in, so it doesn't even matter. Um, but expect those areas, right? We'll see what the timeline is. Maybe it'll be every few months. Maybe it'll be all within the next few months. But expect a slow rollout, right? They're slowly going to increase adoption. And we'll go from there. Um, the other things are, so it is, again, talks text data. It's going to be from Miami. And it is like a budget plan, right? So keep in mind, it's not going to be full speed, right? You're going to get throttled just like these other budget plans. So after about 30 gigs, you're going to get throttled, right? Which is currently what most of them do anyway, unless you're on a high-end plan. So keep that in mind if you're thinking of switching all the way over. Um, I can tell you right now, I already have T-Mobile, right? So, and I've been messing with it using from the data perspective, and I've noticed no difference in quality, right? So if you're already used to it, you're already familiar with those things, it's going to be worthwhile, right? Um, the other thing to factor in, right, especially if you are in Miami or if you did access to the beta, is the fact that you can sign up for the mobile mapping rewards, right? So this thing being only five bucks a month and currently earning about a dollar seventy cents a day in the mobile tokens, it's a no-brainer, right? So even if you have no use for it, like I realistically don't have a use for it, 
I did add a line last year. I still have like another six months on that contract and then maybe I'll do it. But right now I'm gonna make more money with the mobile tokens than the $5 I'm gonna spend a month. So even though I'm not really using it, I'm using it just to use it, just to get those rewards, right? So for me, it's gonna make sense. At least right now, this is not gonna be always the case, right? 20% uh, of those mobile tokens are allotted for this. But as the subscriber count grows, it's distributed between everybody, right? So it's gonna go down, right? So currently it's worthwhile. Maybe in three to six months, maybe not so much, unless I need a line. But hopefully by that time, my son's thing will be up and I'll be on there anyway for freaking $5 a month. It's crazy, guys. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, the big thing, though, for me that they need to expand, they need to work on, right? Because in a sense, not necessarily subsidizing, like I'm not sure how they get into that price point, but what they really need to harp on is getting lower cost on these radios, right? So we can set up even more infrastructure. Okay, that to me has been a big point is that it's very interest pretty high. It's like 2,500 bucks for the bigger radios. Um, if they're able to somehow subsidize that, maybe for these metro areas, maybe they'll give it more incentive. Maybe you'll earn more. Maybe that'll be the way they subsidize it instead of reducing the cost of the equipment, making it more worthwhile, at least for the early adopters, just to get it going, right? So... Definitely got to keep your eyes open for that. I'll keep you updated if there's any developments on that front, because that is something that would interest me again, because my area does have quite a few radios, right? If you look in the Tampa area, but not a whole lot, right? Not enough to, to get a whole lot of coverage. Um, but again, if they do give more incentive for that, then it would make it more worthwhile. But again, currently for 2,500 bucks for kind of like unknown how it's going to be. Who knows? But again, the fact that this thing's going to be five dollars a freaking month, again, it's going to get adoption. Even people have no idea what crypto is, don't even care what crypto is. They're going to get enticed by a five dollar unlimited phone plan. It's just it's insane. We'll see how long it lasts. Currently, there's no timeline on it saying that's like a intro price or anything, but overall bullish, right? Again, I know it sucks with the IoT miners or even some of you guys with the 5G miners are kind of a little upset, but for me, Helium, the token as a whole, is what I'm bullish on, right? I'm bullish on the project. The whole D-pin thing is pretty fascinating, right? It's not just Helium's, like think Hive Mappers, the Dymos, all of that stuff. It's setting up decentralized physical infrastructure networks, right? Which is, to, it's crazy. Like, when did you ever think you'd be able to be a part of a mobile provider? Right? When did you think you'd be able to set up a mini cell tower on the top of your roof and earn income from that? To me, that's, it's fascinating. And that to me is what's fascinating and why it has me bullish on Helium as a token. I get it. There's issues with the miners. I understand that. Right, But from a investment perspective, bullish on it. Right, So we'll see. Again, I'm not trying to shill it on you, but I'm just letting you know what I see and why I see value in helium i get it a lot of you guys are done you guys are over it but this is the kind of adoption you want to see these are the kind of things you want to see if you are a holder right again you come up to your own conclusion you do your own things but that's what i'm saying right a lot of value in there um so just wanted to give you that update though guys again five dollars a freaking month is just insane right we'll see i'll keep you guys updated thank you for watching guys please comment like and subscribe and i am out